Hello and welcome to FPS Coach. My name is Ron Rambo Kim and in this video I'm going to share a few tips to help fix your aim. One of the biggest problems or things that I see inefficiencies with with beginner gamers or people that haven't found their aim is when they move their mouse they're not able to utilize the full range of motion whether it's using their wrist or swiping their form across a mouse pad. So what I mean by that is that when they get to maybe around 70, 80% or even earlier, the edge of their mouse or the bottom of their uh, mouse starts, uh, you start to see some gap and some air in there. So maybe you bend to the left and the mouse kind of moves up. And then what happens is when you try to recenter the mouse, the, well, one, you have to figure, you have to re uh, flatten the mouse. So it's parallel with the pad. So there's this kind of like recalibration where you have to get everything even again. And then it also causes the mouse to generally land on the pad much harder. And you kind of hear this clicking sound or tapping sound because when the mouse is off, one of the corners are up or you know below the others, you get this slamming effect. Whereas if you're flat, right, everything kind of lands smoothly and then you're able to quickly aim the mouse again. So there's no like the slamming and settling period. So one of the reasons that happens is the elbow and the forearm position. So the way our anatomy is, is if I have my elbow out over here, well, my thumb wants to generally, it just wants to rotate to the left because everything is connected, right? Or if I get my elbow a little bit closer, my thumb is pointing towards the sky. And then if I grip the mouse like this, my forearm naturally just wants to kind of twist up like that. So this is also another reason why you could have forearm pain or shoulder pain or elbow pain is because you're forcing these rotations and positions that uh, you're just not supposed to keep for a long period of time. So if you feel like if you're a wrist player and, and your mouse is lifting up like this, then you got to figure out another way to position and angle this elbow and forearm on the mouse pad. And if you're an arm aimer or swiper and you like to move across, but you know when you get to one corner of the mouse pad, your mouse wants to lift up, it's that form and elbow position. So finding that good, you know, whether it's away from your body or close or um, how high the elbow is, it all impacts the rotation of that form. And then the second tip is for your grip. So uh, you want to keep the weight uh, generally even across the bottom of the mouse. So for example, you don't want, you know, like 80% of the weight on this side, or if you have too much weight on the back side, you know, the, the front side may want to lift up. So that grip, whatever you use, if it's, a, you know, claw, palm, it doesn't matter. Try to find one where, if you can imagine the bottom of the mouse pad being a stamp, and then it's evenly stamping and moving and gliding across the pad uh, evenly in all four corners and all um, surface areas of the bottom of the mouse. Now, of course, you know, you don't have to do that, but this is a general good rule of thumb. If you're struggling with this uh, tilting issue here, definitely try to find that grip. And try. you can even do this without a mouse. Just find a position where your hand or your palm is naturally just, you know, flat on the pad. And if you feel a little bit of rotation and you know, you got to do a little bit of forcing, that's fine, but just keep that in mind where if you overdo it, you're definitely going to get some strain in the hand. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Give it a thumbs up if it was and subscribe to stay up to date.